Okay, I just found this pretty cool server, but I've been moving around for a really long time. And unfortunately, I haven't found anything. I'm still in leather armor. If only there was a way I could get the world seat so I can find all the structures and loot them before anyone else does. Oh wait, there is this command. Slash seed. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. If this is the case with you, do not worry. I am back again with another hit video, most probably, which will show you how to get the world seed of any Minecraft world. Not only multiplayer, but also single player. Hell yeah! So, if you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe to the channel because this video is going to take some time because this method is going to take some time. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so what you have to do is open your browser, type in seed tracker x, hit enter, and this will be the first link 19 Mr. x98 seed tracker x. Press it, and when you scroll down, you will see lots of versions. If your Minecraft version is the latest, you have to click this one. You can download this for any other version. Click it. I already have it here, but I'll still download it. After that, just put this in your mods folder, and that's pretty much it. Note that the mod is a fabric mod, so you will need the fabric loader. If you do not know how to install fabric mods, I will link a video to the description, and you can watch it on how to install fabric mods. Alright, now you can just hop on a world, or I'll just create a new world, let's just say new world, and we can do survival, or I'll do creative, for the sake of this video. Okay, after the world has generated, type in slash seed cracker GUI, in order to open the GUI. Now, there are a few things you need to change, you need to set render outlines to x-ray, or you can just keep it on, doesn't matter. In finder toggles, make sure end gateways is turned off, desert wells is turned off, warped fungus is turned off, and biome is turned off. Now you can just save and quit and do slash seed cracker cracker on. And now it will say already enabled if it's already enabled. Now what you have to do is understand how this mod works. So every time you walk in a Minecraft world, you will come across various structures such as shipwrecks, desert monuments, jungle pyramids or whatever there is. Every time you come across such a structure, it will update a bit. Now you need 5 such bits in order to crack the seed. The easiest way to get the bits is by finding shipwrecks. As you can see, there should be a shipwreck right there because in x-ray mode you can see the outlines of shipwrecks and many such structures. So this is the first structure. What you have to do is go inside such a blue box and just stay for a while and roam around. You can do this in survival. You don't need to do anything special. Oh wow. But then look for such shipwrecks. So I'll just go. Oh, there are a lot of shipwrecks here. This will take some time if you are in survival. All you have to do is explore the world and yeah, that's pretty much it. I will just keep exploring until I find like 5 or 6 of such shipwrecks or more structures and then I'll talk. So basically you just have to explore the world and that's pretty much it. As you can see, I've explored for a while and now it says starting lifting with 5 structures. This takes a few minutes. So you just have to keep exploring. There's something over there. You just have to keep exploring and voila, we already found the seed. Found world seed, minus 67089957. Now, whatever this seed is, you can just verify it by typing slash seed. If you have creative or op, just type slash seed and look, these two are matching. You can do this in a server or any other Minecraft world and every time it will yield good results. What you have to do is just explore the world, look for shipwrecks or such structures and that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Toodles!